Yeah, yeah. Is it done? Yeah, ready. Uh, okay, okay, so, so what I'm going to do here is today there's rumours going around by the individual that's right in front of me that I can't come to the park, I'm restricted and all of this. Now, I wasn't uh, by the police allegedly. Now, I wasn't. I wasn't here because of the fact that I had a religious commitment. Now, the thing is, there, there is certain things going on that even I was shocked about to learn because um, we're going to talk about a subject man. it is an ongoing case. So I think we've got to be careful about exactly what we said. I don't know if we've learned to speak about it. But the reason they said that I was uh, part in the park was because I spoke to this guy. Which, really? Yeah, that was the reason that... I will say the name Irish Pat. He said I was part the park or restricted. He's gone now, he's legged it. He said I was restricted because I was disrupting the case. And I got a phone call from somebody to stop doing it. Uh, or from the police and I was restricted. Did you miss that? Yeah, I missed it. I don't know where it is. Probably still trying to get in contact with me. So, we are, we are going to kind of touch upon some of the disturbing kind of um, disclosures that yeah, I, we, you, we've kind of found out over the last couple of weeks from that case. But there's, there's something that I, I think is important is the, <coughs> the denial, which even I've been kind of shocked about because he's been caught so many times, once, twice with Adam Chowdhury on camera, once with Vice News. Uh, both times he said he was going blokes and he suddenly walked in today and he saw, saw Adam Chowdhury. The second thing he said that if you don't believe in ISIS, uh, uh, you're a Jew. Now, the last thing is that he's now at court, and we didn't realise at the time, so don't say we were trying to disrupt the case, we didn't know, that he was actually at court. This was, yeah. So if you want to give a bit more detail about the, the, the actual court, when it started. Uh, I think everyone already heard. Well, no, we need to do it again. Don't worry, don't worry. They need to listen. I think it was, was it the 20th. It was the 28th of September 2018 and I spotted him outside the Old Bailey and as soon as he spotted me spotting him he looked petrified and he was trying to find his way into the court he didn't know which entrance to go in and he was like flapping around and talking to the guys on the door and at the time that, that same dark day there was a court case going on for one of the Westminster attackers the, the most recent Westminster attack I forget his name who tried to drive his car into cyclists outside Westminster he was in court that day. So when I saw Abu Kasim, obviously recognising him from here, I assumed he was there in support of that other guy. But only nearly a year later, when I discovered that Abu Kasim was himself in court, on trial, for a case, that I looked at the history of that case, and then looked at, and I think it was the very first court hearing come on, come on. for his own conviction. Come on, Pat. Was on the 28th, if I remember correctly, September. So he was there for the, I think it's the first pre, um, pre hearing. It's an ongoing court case. You are aware of that? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. So you, no, nothing I'm saying, nothing I'm saying has not been published by the Daily Mail. So I'll, I'll see. I'll see. I'll see, I see. I see the date. Well, that's not. That would hardly be contempt at all. So anyway, so I will see the Daily Mail in court, contempt of court before yeah, I am. But of course, Robinson Tommy Robinson, Robinson could oh, have made go. that point yeah, because Tommy Robinson didn't say yeah, anything camera, uh, that the BBC uh, hadn't uh, already have said. Uh, so that was a bit of a peculiar, bizarre occurrence why Tommy Robinson would be in court, contempt of court, but not the BBC. But anyway, that's another story. Not, let's not go. I'll tell you what sort of shocked me the most. There's so much evidence against this guy that I, you, you produce. So, so, so the Daily Mail ran that story about Abu Kasim. There's two of them on trial for the same thing. And, and Abu Kasim, first, um, Mohammed Abdul, 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 something, something like that. He's got three different names apparently that he operates on, and he's often in live live streams and chats um, under another name. Like, but Pat, what's his other name? You have no idea. Anta Tawid is one of them. Anta Tawid. That's Suleiman. Oh, that's Suleiman. Yeah. So, of course, we confronted him after the Daily Mail. I published his photo, you know. You confronted him because there's this narrative that I disclosed the case, which is why I was allegedly restricted. So, so, so no, 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 no. I'll take responsibility. What I'm trying to say is that this individual said to me that I'd got a phone call to stop coming to the park because I was in the Don't go, Pat. Join us. Yeah. And that's what he was alleging all over the net. Yeah. So remember when this man had previously been confronted about being part of Anton Chowdhury's crowd, first of all he denied knowing who Anton Chowdhury was, so a very honest, trustworthy individual there. Then he claimed he was, you said, he was on his way to Boots, yeah. even though he was standing there on a Vice video documentary giving out leaflets, standing next to Anton Chowdhury. So
so a completely deceitful, untruthful, unreliable well, I think one person. of the most dangerous rhetorics was that he was with Abdul Hakim and Abdul Hakim on Fight TV said he wants Islamophobia to grow because he wants to start some kind of tension. And that's like the to white supremacist. War, that's like the white supremacist rhetoric. They're, they're so anyway, so after the Daily Mail article demonstrating that he's currently being um, charged and in court at the Old Bailey okay. on spreading terrorism, terrorism. he denied that. He denied that it was him. He said it was. Um, I, I think oh, I, was it either mistaken identity or it was all fake news. Even though he'd been personally seen going into the Old Bailey on the date of his very own first court hearing. The court, the hearing has been going on for over a year at the Old Bailey. And they must have known about it. Over a year. I mean, what a... The Dawa teams must have known about it. So when... And, and during all of this time, actively coming to Speaker's Corner, actively filming all of the Dawa team, working with them, putting their videos up, being directed by Adnan um, Rashid. On Saeed Yeo's channel. channel. On Saeed Yeo's channel. I saw it. On Saeed Yeo's channel. You, you can watch it's up the there right now. You can watch the video. Channel. And you can actually hear Adnan Rashid in the background shouting orders to to um stop sharing to, 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 it's true stop sharing the rubbish stop sharing uh, the truth the camera and who is the fact that we're, we're, we're talking Pat talking. quickly we're moves talking. in case no, the camera no, is going yeah 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 but Pat the man that repeatedly appears on RT but doesn't want to show his face we can talk about what we want we can talk about what we want so let me say one thing that's very disturbing to me after all this uh, evidence, trial of, after all this evidence, um, we're not saying anything that isn't in, in the public. Oh, do you mean? He's now concerned about UK law. This guy hates the UK. He's concerned about the UK law. They want to get you. You're concerned about UK law now. Respect the law. Yeah. You hate UK, but you're concerned about the UK law. No, 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 no. You, it's either you hate it, you want to disrupt it. You should be happy. Let me answer. Let me answer. Let me answer. We're meddling because, as you and I said privately earlier. We are astounded to understand why Abu Qasim is the only follower of Anjum Chowdhury that has not been banned from Speaker's Corner. All of the others have. I don't, so he, well, let me finish. He's the only, that, as far as we know, active member of Anjum Chowdhury's group that is still allowed, and Suleiman actually too, that is still allowed to come in. And he's going through a live trial at the Old Bailey for disseminating terrorism, to, to terrorist kiss. supporting material, to kiss. and again, to kiss. he's allowed to come to Speaker's Corner. Sorry, cut ahead, ignore him, ignore him, ignore him, ignore him. Pat, come closer, I can't hear you. I'm in the camera. No, but you're not that inept, are they? So what are you insinuating? Uh, don't worry. What are you insinuating? Okay. You don't need to do their job for them. What are you insinuating? You don't need to do their job Are you insinuating right, he's okay. working for them? Can we just go back to the business? So one of the things that I'm very concerned about is that when all of this evidence come out and this advocacy once again come onto camera saying, oh, I was just walking to boats and the, the, the paparazzi paparazzi me, yeah? I'm not going to take them to court. Because it's online. Is it, can but I just say, it's, 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 it's a bit bizarre when there's hard evidence, there's video evidence, numerous video evidence, conspiracy that individual <laughs> status, saying uh, conspiracy, conspiracy, so like, news. Let me just finish, so you cannot make it up. So let me just finish here. He says that, yeah, and then he says he can't. Now you're put, now let me say something to Abu Qasim. The Daily Mail, if they've slandered you, are putting your life in danger. You could get millions of pounds for that photo. Yeah, so sue them if it's not you. Sue them if it's not you. Because you know it's you, because you are a little liar. You do Takiya more than the Shias. And that's saying something. So you're the new Takiya master. Yo, so let's go. Don't get don't get disrupted. Don't get disrupted by the It doesn't matter how hard, how black and white the evidence is. You will get numpties at speakers' corner saying it's fake news. It's a very edited video. Don't get disrupted. Don't get disrupted. Don't get disrupted. Don't get distracted. Don't get distracted. Don't get distracted. Don't get distracted. There's a couple you of need to be stay focused. Yeah, there's a couple of individuals here yeah, that I was on a panel with. One of the guys here is called Reactionary. And Reactionary goes to the park. But I don't know who he is. Legend. Allegedly. Probably sitting in Los Angeles. The thing is, this guy's a very educated, well educated man who's a very intelligent man in my opinion. But he said to me, like Trump said, he said to me, it wasn't him. I'm saying to you, he said to me, yeah, he said to me, they wasn't him yet, even though the Congress is lying, little child. So when I was talking about one of the most dangerous things in Islam, yeah, being covering your brother's sins, 
This is an example. The other one is Al Wara, Al Wara. Hate for the love for the sake of Allah and hate for the lake of Allah. And Muhammad Taweed is pushing what that are you rhetoric. About? Now, I will say something. Now, I, you may not want to talk about this, but there's a, link, there's a link towards Adnan Rashid now. Yeah? Now, the link is this, and I'm going to say this. In 2003, allegedly, Adnan Rashid was filmed supporting Sheikh Faisal, who was then put into prison for eight years for promoting terrorism and supporting him before the case. Now, can, can I remind you of Adnan Rashid's response to that? It wasn't me, it wasn't me, it wasn't me. If it was me, I didn't mean it. We got, now can I say that? How can you take any man seriously that says Somebody that? we know here actually paid £3,000 to get the voice recognition done. So it's, it could actually be accepted in court. Now the thing is that, the, the, the thing I had a problem about is that uh, Adnan Rashid then is connected again because the cameraman that's been filming him from day one was also supporting Sheikh Faisal as of now and promoting his terrorism that, 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 and teaching... I would say that does seem a bizarre, a a bizarre coincidence. It's a bizarre coincidence. The networks that we seem to get here at Speaker's Corner, the connections in that network that we seem to get at Speaker's Corner, I would say, seem to be bizarrely coincidental. Now, let's look, we've got to condemn some people, like Paul Williams, Shamsi, uh, certain individuals... Yourself that as well. Yourself. I mean, condemn. Well. Condemn. Well. Condemn. Well. Condemn. Well. Condemn. Well. condemn. Condemn. Sorry. Condemn. Yourself as well. Condemn. Yeah, I, I congratulate them. So sir. basically, they, so condemn basically they confronted him yeah, and they exposed him. The thing India. about uh, Adnan Rashid, he, he asked him three times. And when he said no, and then he's Takia, he believed him because it's convenient for him. I believe, India. allegedly, that the reason he covered it up because he knew there was a link to Sheikh Faisal. And he knew if they both found is, out that's the that's Sheikh Faisal connection your, and the, the fact that it's, it is, that's it's that's an odd. It is odd when you're repeatedly, week after week after week after week, being filmed by someone, wearing their microphone, going for dinner at the end of Sunday, to then say, I had no idea you were appearing at the Old Bailey for the last year. <laughs> that seems, I know if I was miking up, wearing someone's microphone, if I was repeatedly going for dinner with them, that it wouldn't come up in any way, shape or form, oh, you're at the Old Bailey. I mean, he's actually, unlikely, isn't it? Just, just to give it you a look, when I look back at my first ever video here, Guess who was micing up Adnan Rashid? You're all criminals. Abu Kasim. You're all criminals. So this is the, this the thing here. We have a situation now that the police are over there. Nah, don't report. Nah, come in, nah. come on, you're come on. Say your piece. Come on, come on. Oh, so you don't want to report yeah. us criminals to the Look, police. I believe you're you. Shit if the out. people you're talking about are here to defend themselves, no, oh, they're not here. They're not here. Oh, whatever, whatever. So I suppose you never mentioned to Whatever. Go away. Go away. Go away. But it's not Alright, so, so don't get distracted. I just want to say, yeah, that well done to the Stevenator. Well done to the Rajanator. We will do let's, 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 let's do a fist bump. Mission accomplished in a way because we set out a couple of weeks ago. We set up a level of Yeah, yeah, so let me explain what happened. First of all, Two months ago, Steve and started a ball way, rolling. And what happened was that he exposed this guy to be part of Andrew Tadley's truth. We then started our war on terror. And what happened? This individual, Abdul uh, Abu Qasim, is at the Old Bailey. Uh, Uncle Omar is banned. Yeah? And also on top of that, Baghdad is dead. I'm not saying what's to do with us, but I think Trump watched our video. Allegedly. Allegedly. And now the threat level of the UK is down from critical to severe. I'm not saying it's because of us, but I think it might be. It might be just a little bit. They watched our videos. Now, the last component, I believe, and I'm going to say it straight, Adnan Rashid, I want to debate you. Uh, get my Sikh brothers down because we're going to talk about Sikhism as well. And also your links to Sheikh Faisal, allegedly, and your links to your cameraman and why you covered it up. So let's another, 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 another frequent response from Adnan Rashid and others, but he said it frequently. You're paid. You're paid for this. You're mate. paid. Steve, you're paid for this. Now, isn't that the bizarre that the actual one person who's been paid to fly around the globe giving speeches, he was in Australia a little while ago, is Adnan Rashid. Yet he has the audacity to point at Raj or point at me that we're being paid to hate him. He is the only numpty being paid to fly around the world to spout his nonsense. Not us. Talk about the absolutely most gross 
hypocrisy that you can imagine. And why would you ever point your finger at someone who's saying something that you think is fake news or you think is rubbish and whatever and say, you're being paid to say that? And abocacy is over Deal with us with evidence and arguments, not you're being paid. My Steve, he's over there, abocacy is over there, he's over there. It's still and, cool. and, and yeah, I mean, why is that? Al I thought Ali Dawa is at the slightly better end of the piece of so the Yet still, he's doing it. So how can who, you take who in their right mind would want to stand in front of a cameraman who's currently being heard at the Old Bailey for spreading terrorism? Who in their right mind would stand in front of their camera? After this, I'll show you. I'll go over there. And show Do you, you agree, Pat? Huh? You're smiling at that point. Do you agree with that? Point? It's true. Oh! We, can we see? Have a look. No, but, no, no, but, no, but, you're checking out the channel to see whether you're going to join us. Pat only joins, cha joins channels that have what, 100,000 watchers? Are we not having a good conversation? Well, make it a good conversation. Sorry? But it is, if, it is, if Ali Dara is currently performing in front of What I suggest of you do is wait for the outcome of the trial and then you can give your speeches.